What's up, Joshi Squad? Welcome back. Hope you all had a great weekend, having a beautiful week so far. Before we get into anything, make sure you all go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell everyone, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your aunts, uncles, cousins, your best friends or whoever, to come over and have a seat with the Joshi Squad. So, getting straight to the video. And I'm coming with you, I'm coming to you all with another topic, another millennial topic. And today I want to, you know, talk quickly or briefly about cancel culture and extending grace. So don't mind me if I'm looking down, I have some note cards. But just to give you a brief synopsis of what cancel culture is, cancel culture is when someone is thrusted or pushed out of a social or professional circle. And that can be in person, that can be online, that can be in social or through social media. And the root word of cancel culture is cancel. And cancel means to denounce or get rid of. Now, for me personally, I don't believe in cancel culture at all. Now, I know everyone is, or just about everyone, you know, is probably already privy to what's going on with the rapper called The Baby and what he said in regards to um, homophobic, some homophobic um, comments, some comments against women and some comments against people who are living with HIV and AIDS. And of course, everything everything that he said was not correct or wasn't right or it just it was pretty disgusting. I personally don't believe in canceling anyone. Um, like I said, to counsel means to be denounced. And be denounced is like, it's not right. Like, of course, everyone in this world is always talking about me or I got me, I got all that I have or I don't need anyone else, but no. We all need people, we all need each other. So for us to cancel anyone, who are we to do that? And I mean, I'm not trying, to, my, my page is not really a, like a spiritual or, or Christianity page, but I am a Christian. And I do believe in God. And what if God was to sit up there and cancel you because of something that you did or your actions that you have done? So who are we to do that? No, instead of canceling someone, we should extend grace. And that goes into my next topic. If you want to quote unquote say, oh, I'm canceling this person, for one, you should also look at look within yourself. Because like I said, who are you to cancel someone? So instead of canceling someone, how about we extend grace? And the definition of grace is favor or goodwill or forgiveness or repentance. That's simply what grace is. So just because you don't agree with what someone is saying or someone isn't doing what you think they should be doing, how about you extend grace? How about you take your hand, draw them person unto you, teach them, talk to them, see what's going on. Cause you don't know what, what made them say what they wanted to say on what made them say ignorant remarks. Or simply, just because you don't believe in something that that other person is believing in, y'all can have a conversation and agree to disagree. Um, I took a poll on, on my social medias and I asked a couple of my close friends or a couple of friends and acquaintances why they think that people in today's society don't extend grace. Some people said social media um, makes people perfect. That is true. You only see, you know, the glitz and glams, or you only see what people portray or put on social media. You don't see the everyday lives. Um, selfishness is, I'm sorry, mankind is selfish. That is very true. We all can be selfish. No, we all are selfish. And we do things consciously and subconsciously. So we do things that we don't even think, um, you know, that we're doing. Um, being neutral, meaning, or I can say wanting to always please people. Um, people want what they want, no questions asked. Pridefulness, people not being humble. People haven't really addressed trauma within them, so they take certain things out on other people. Um, entitlement is a big thing. And the last the last thing that someone said in regards to extending grace was <clears throat> this I guess you can say this kind of plays back to the trauma. People haven't dealt with the root cause of what they're like going through or you know their thoughts and minds <clears throat> in their adult life. So they have to revert back 
to their traumatic experiences. And then from there, oh, you know, that can cause them to not believe and I want to be or cancel people in general. So these are just all things that I think we should all just think about in regards to grace, because a lot of this stuff happens within today and it's not good. It's not good at all. Now, people can say whatever they want to say in regards to, well, you know, people shouldn't, people should think before they talk, which is true. People should think before they talk, but the reality is people don't. We all don't. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. So we all just need to understand what grace is and how to display it. And this is only a short video, but I want you all just to think about the word grace and what it really means. Do you research about it? You know, the internet is like literally people's best friend. You can literally go on the internet and just type in grace. What does grace mean? And you'll see what grace really means. What if God was to cancel you? I know everyone doesn't believe in God, but whatever religion that you believe in, grace is in there some way and somehow because you want to be forgiven. So, like I said, just look up the word grace, see what grace really means, and just try to extend that to every human being that you possibly can. But besides that, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell everyone to come over. Your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your aunts, uncles, and cousins. And let them, t let them know to come on over and have a seat with the Joshi Squad. And then from there, you know, we can go ahead and have several conversations about this. But go ahead and comment below. You know, just tell me about or talk to me a little bit about Greece and cancel culture. What's your thoughts about it and things like that. All right. Adios.